Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to Tots Plus. And in this part, we're going to go ahead and go through the process of creating this top mesh that I already went ahead and imported in. So the way I've done this is I kind of cheated it and done it the dirty way, uh, just for time's sake. I went ahead and duplicated this panel along, okay, and then combined it all, and then applied a smooth mesh uh, preview to it. So then I can go ahead and select the faces around here that I don't need and delete. Now this will make your life a lot faster, but it will go ahead and create a, a really rough edge where you don't delete the uh, faces properly. So it's quite a naughty way of doing it, but it's saving me a lot of time just for the tutorial's sake. So the way you're supposed to do it to make it a bit cleaner is the way we've done uh, these meshes as well as the back is that you go ahead and grab one um, piece and you duplicate it along and keep going along until you sort of um, left with this shape. And once you have that, you combine them all, uh, merge the vertices and so on to be left with one mesh. Now, once you have that, as you'll notice, you have... Um, there is this bend in the mesh and also you need to bend this mesh this way as well in a curve so it will go ahead and fit into a case um, and the way you're going to go ahead and do that or the way I've done it is I applied a lattice deformer to it so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to use that in this part and then you can go ahead and create this top mesh in your own time so I don't really want to bore you guys with it now this mesh on the top uh, it's probably the heaviest piece on the um, whole case. So subdivided is over a million and a half polys. Um, so because of that, you might run into some issues when you go ahead and apply your lattice deformer to it because it might slow down your computer. So it might get really laggy, but hopefully you won't run into any issues like that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this mesh and just demonstrate how to use the lattice deformer. So once we have this, I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees, like so. And I'll also show you why you don't just grab the vertices. So if you wanted to go ahead and make a bend in this, you might say, well, surely I can just um, select these vertices carefully. So I'll just go into my top view. Okay, so I roughly find the center just for the sake of this. So you could say, well, surely I can just go ahead and grab these vertices here somewhere carefully. And then once I have those selected, I can just go ahead and push that down. Okay. And I guess you could do that if you want to be really tedious about it and make sure that these don't stretch and so on, but it would probably take you forever. So instead, I will show you how I done it with the lattice deformer. You're gonna to have to go up to the animation tab and then go to create deformers and lattice. Okay, and once you have that, you'll notice that this sort of cage appears around your mesh with these lines on it. So what you need to go ahead and do is basically these points are sort of vertices that will deform your mesh. So because we wanna go ahead and bend this mesh around here, we need to increase the divisions here and not on this side. So what you need to go ahead and do is go into your channel box and in your shapes, you should have your lattice shape here. And as you can see, you can go ahead and increase the divisions on the side that you want. So I don't really need any divisions here. So I'm gonna turn it down to one and increase the divisions over here to 10. Now, what you need to bear in mind with this is these sort of control points work exactly like vertices. So if I want to go ahead and bend this, so I select the cage, select the two lattice points that I want to go ahead and bend. If I go ahead and move these down, it will bend from this division. Okay, as you can see. Now, if you want a sort of nicer result like that one, you will need to go ahead and increase the divisions more so it will bend from the right um, point. So if you go back to your lattice shape, I'll probably increase this to about 20. Okay, and then go back to my um, my lattice shape, select the control points that I want. So now I can go ahead and select, for example, these three guys. And now if I move this down, it will bend from this point. Okay, leaving me with a quite nice result. 
Okay, you might want to increase it even more to get a better result and so on. So once you apply this uh, inner bend, then you will have to go ahead and select these points and um, bend them so it will fit into our mesh into this shape because as you can see this is curved so you'll have to go ahead and apply this same curve to this mesh so it will go ahead and uh, it will go ahead and fit in there properly so once you have that you'll notice that uh, once you created your mesh you'll notice that in your outline if I go ahead and open that up you'll be left with this lattice shape in here and it will stay there until you go ahead and delete the history on this so if you once you've finished everything and you want to sort of bake in um, this lattice deformer, you will just simply go to edit, delete all by type, and delete the history. And as you can see, that lattice deformer will be all baked in into your geometry and it will look all nice and bend the way you want it to. Okay, so once you guys finished up this uh, top mesh, please, I'll see you guys in the next part where we'll start with this um, front part of the case.